2014 leaves one name written in space, Rosetta. Launched by the European Space Agency in 2004, the probe woke up in January for the final leg of its mission towards comet churumyov gerasimenko On the 6th of August, it became the first spacecraft to orbit a comet. Rosetta's images and measurements are helping scientists to learn more about the role of comets in the evolution of the solar system and the apparition of life on Earth. And Rosetta had more in store. On the 12th of November, the probe's lander, Philae, completed a successful first ever landing on a comet. After a seven hour descent, the signal confirming the successful touchdown arrived on Earth, marking a world premiere. Philae rebounced but managed to do its job and the Rosetta mission will continue until the end of next year. 2014 has also been an important year for Europe's Copernicus environmental monitoring program. With Sentinel-1A placed in orbit around the Earth on April the 3rd, Europe has launched the first in a family of satellites built specifically to provide a stream of timely data for land and ocean services. Sentinel-1A is providing all-weather, day and night radar images that are now to be used for emergency responses, civil security, climate studies, marine and land monitoring. 2014 has also seen new ESA astronauts in space. During his six months adventure, German Alexander Gerst carried out several experiments, many of which are now being continued by Samantha Cristoforetti. The first Italian woman in space flew to the ISS on the 24th of November. Alexander Gerst also performed a spacewalk to maintain the ISS and help dock the Georges Lemaitre, Europe's fifth and last automated transfer vehicle. <laughs> Having delivered more than six tons of supplies, the ATV helped push the orbital outpost up and prevent it from being hit by space debris. Controllers, uh, it was one of the last the tricks room. for the ATV, which is retiring after demonstrating ESA's capacity to master automated rendezvous uh, for a pressurized vehicle. 2014 has also seen a new step for Europe's own satellite navigation system. On the 22nd of August, two new Galileo satellites were launched from Europe's spaceport in Kourou, French Guiana, to rejoin the four already in orbit. Despite being released in the wrong orbit, they're being brought into a more useful orbit to fulfill their navigation mission. And in the list of 2014, no one could miss the golden jubilee of Europe's space career. 50 years of European cooperation that led to the birth of the European Space Agency with unique achievements in space. As an anniversary gift, the images and data sent by Rosetta and Philae, revealing a world four billion years old, with evidence on the comet's surface of organic molecules the building blocks of life. And the mood was good for a key ministerial conference in Luxembourg on the 2nd of December, where ESA members gave their thumbs up to the development of a family of new launches, Ariane 6 and Vega C, thus securing Europe's independent access to space, paving the way for future new endeavors for ESA.